So one of the things that we uh, need to know about windows on the installation, the technique that the windows are installed from the outside of the house um, for proper explanations to the homeowner is whether or not the windows utilize a nailing fin or not. And just to explain what a nailing fin is, behind the frame of the window, a nailing fin is an L-shaped flange that usually it goes in about a half inch to three quarters of an inch and then it flanges out to the left side, the bottom side, the top side, and the right side all the way around the window perimeter. Nailing fins generally have pre-drilled holes or slots that can be selected by the installers to either nail or screw the window into the framing from the outside of the home. And um, one of the ways that you can tell whether or not a window is utilizing a nailing fin or not is if the exterior surface of the window is either aluminum or vinyl clad. Additionally, the framing around the perimeter of the sash, the sash is the part that either operates up and down or opens and closes. If the sash frame is uh, located uh, in, in an area that holds a glass, the main frame around the perimeter is usually about a half inch wide. And again, if it's covered with aluminum or vinyl, that's an indication that you might have a nailing fin. And it's very difficult to get these windows out of the home. The trim goes over the top of the nailing fin. The trim can be um, J-channel in vinyl siding, it can be J-channel um, or an L-channel in aluminum or steel siding, it can be brick, it can be any uh, type of a siding that we utilize in new construction and that's always installed over the nailing fins. So the, the only way to get that window out of the home, um, as Trig is going to show us, is to take the saw and cut between the finished siding and or trim around the window and the window itself he'll cut a groove through here to cut that nailing fin the window will then be free so they can separate the window pull it out of the house and the nailing fin will remain in the wall when we install our new window Trig, do you want to show them how you cut that out So now that the window is out completely, um, just to share with you guys, we call this a full frame installation rather than a full frame complete because we're not gonna be putting the vinyl brick mold um, on the outside of the window around the perimeter. So the way that this window is gonna get finished from the outside is the guys are gonna run foam insulation behind the jam in the, in the uh, studded uh, rough opening of the house. They'll foam this with a, or they'll put a foam in here that uh, is not penetrable by either air or moisture. And then when we install the window up against the back side of the jam, um, when the window is installed, the frame will be flush. There's an accessory groove on the window. Our guys are going to tuck a piece of aluminum. It will be bent like a V and the um, inside edge of it will be tucked into the accessory groove of the window. The other side of the aluminum is going to be tucked in behind the um, the rough cedar and then what they'll do is they'll run a bead of silicone to finish off the edge of the rough cedar and where the aluminum in the window hits. So two beads of silicone around the perimeter, insulated and foam behind and it will meet up flush with the window on the inside and that finishes our full frame installation.
Earlier I mentioned that when we cut the nailing fins off, they stay behind the, uh, the trim on the outside of the home. If you look very carefully, you can see an edge right here of aluminum. So the nailing fin goes down about an inch or inch and a quarter behind this frame. It will remain in the wall. The window installation will go over that.